Hello and welcome to today's GIMP text effects tutorial. My name is Chris Parker and I have a lot to share with you in this tutorial. So check this out. This is the design project you're going to create today. When you're done, you'll know how to use the path tool, how to rotate layers, how to use blending modes and more. So I have a question for you. Are you ready to master this GIMP text effect? Awesome. Let's do it. Let's create our new document by going to File, selecting New, and the dimensions I'm going to use are 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height. And then in Advanced Options, I'm going to set the resolution to 300. Let's also choose our color for our initial background layer. Click right here on your foreground color swatch, and this is the color I'm going to use. If you want to use the same color, type in this number in this box right here. Come down here to where it says fill with and select foreground color. Now we need to add our text. So grab your text tool. And what I recommend for this project is a large bold font. And for this project, I selected the Montserrat heavy font and I'm going to use a size of 300. So if you want to use the exact same font, it's free and you can download it by finding the link in the description below or just use any font of your choice. I'm gonna choose a white color as well. And then in all caps, I'm going to type out break. I also wanna add some spacing in between the letters as well to give it a little bit of room. So to do that, we're going to double click on the word to select all the letters. And then we're going to come to this box to increase the spacing. So I think I'm gonna go with something around 32 looks pretty good maybe a little bit more and then I'm going to come up here and grab my move tool so I can move it into position actually what I want to do is I want to center this directly in the middle of the document but before we can do that we need to change our layer boundary right here so that it touches the outer edges of our text right now because we have more space on this side of the B versus the K it's not going to be perfectly aligned until we change the layer boundary. So let's go up to layer and select crop the content. We can now use our alignment tool to align our text. So you can grab that with the letter Q or by going over to your toolbar and finding your alignment icon that looks like this. Now, before we can align it, we need to let GIMP know which layer we want to align. So I'm going to click on the inside of my layer boundary here. And now we can come over here to our tool options, select relative to first item, click on the second icon right here, and then the one below it. Now we need to increase that layer boundary size again. Otherwise, any effects we apply are going to be confined to the inside of this layer boundary. So if we want to add a drop shadow, it's not going to be added because the layer boundary is too tight. So go up to layer and select layer to image size. Now we're going to add the image that I provided of the broken glass. So locate that file, click on it and drag it over your document here and it will automatically be added as a new layer. I'm going to double click on this layer name right here and I'm going to call it glass. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate that layer by clicking on this icon right here. And I'm gonna take this layer and move it all the way to the bottom. Let's turn this layer and this layer off. Now we're going to grab our glass copy layer. We're gonna to go to our blending mode and select darken only. And that confines that layer to the text, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to merge those two layers together by right clicking on the top layer and selecting merge down. All right, so our next step is to begin breaking up our letters so it looks like the broken glass is making up the letters in our word. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my zoom tool and click and drag around the letter B so we can get a closer look to the work that we're working on. 
So to create the broken glass effect, we're going to use our path tool. So go ahead and select that. We're going to click once right here and that's going to create a little anchor point. And what I want to do is I want to follow the cracks in the letter right here or the cracks in the glass. So I'm going to come down here and click once. I'm going to come over here and click again and drag out before I release my mouse button so I can add a curve or a bend to that path. I'm going to come up here and continue clicking on the outside of it until I get close to the original anchor point. And to close this path, we need to hold down our control key and then click on that circle and it completes the path. Now we need to convert it to a selection by going to our tool options and choosing selection from path. Now go up to edit, select cut, edit, and paste so we can add it as a new layer. Right now it's only a floating selection. We need to paste it into a new layer by clicking on this icon right here. And now we have some broken glass. Now to make this more realistic, we're going to grab our move tool and we're going to move it and then rotate it. I'll do the rotating last. I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting out the rest of my text here. So again, I'm going to grab my path tool and you can choose any cracks that you want. I'm just going to select this one here. Control key, click on that circle, close the path, choose selection from path. You can also use your keyboard shortcuts, which is control plus X to cut it, but you want to make sure you have the correct layer selected. Otherwise you're not going to cut anything because I have this layer selected. I can't cut anything from this layer. So make sure your break layer or your text layer here is selected and then command or control and X to cut it. Command or control and V to paste it back. Click on this icon and you can continue doing that for the rest of the letters. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You know how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this part of the video. All right, I have everything cut out. I just need to rotate some of the pieces just to add a little bit more variety to it. I'm gonna grab my move tool with the letter M and because I have pick a layer or guide selected, I can come over here and click on any piece that I need to move and it will automatically select that layer. Now I'm gonna grab my rotate tool, which is right here. The keyboard shortcut is shift plus R and then I can click and rotate that letter. Click enter or return back to the move tool to select the next layer, then shift plus R to rotate that layer and then enter or return. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that again. So I'm going to go ahead and complete rotating all of these again. So just remember move tool to select the layer shift plus R to rotate. So what we need to do next is we need to place all of these layers into a grouped layer. So select your top layer, right click and select new layer group, then click and drag each layer into that layer group. So for the first one, make sure you have this outline around that layer group and then it's placed inside. And then for the next one, just click and drag it up underneath the other one until you have that white solid line. So we're going to go ahead and do that for all of these layers. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to work non-destructively. So before I apply the next effect, I want to make sure that I duplicate all these layers in case I decide that I made a mistake or maybe I want to make a different choice creatively. Now let's grab that layer group and duplicate it and turn off this layer here because what we're going to do is right click and select merge layer group. Then we're going to go up to filters, light and shadow and select drop shadow to add a drop shadow. 
So you can increase or decrease any of these settings here based on your own creative vision. If it helps, you can turn on the background layer here to see it a little bit better. Then I'm going to drop the blur radius a little bit and change the angle just a little bit. And this is just going to make it easier to read the content once we turn on our glass layer here. And let me show you, I'm going to go ahead and grab this background layer and drop the opacity down to around 63% or 60%. And without the drop shadow, it's harder to read. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit tighter on the angle. And I'm going to drop the blur radius just a little bit more to create a harder edge drop shadow. We can also drop the opacity from here as well but I have control over that over the layer itself by changing the opacity from here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and click OK. And then for the final effect, I'm going to grab this grouped layer again, and I'm going to choose a new blending mode for it, which is going to be, let's try hard light. Now from here, you can begin tweaking the effects that we apply to your own personal taste based on your creative vision. For example, for the background layer here, maybe you don't want to drop the opacity that much. Maybe you want to bring it up more, which is going to show less of the glass underneath. Or you can change it to 100% and change the blending mode. But it's going to be hard to read that content depending on the blending mode that you select. So you need to go through all the different blending modes to see how they will affect the layers and the layers below it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to normal. And the same thing with this layer. Maybe you don't wanna use hard light for the blending mode. Maybe you wanna use something else. It all depends again on your creative vision. All right, now it's your turn to complete this text design project and to post it in our private Facebook group. To join our group, you can locate the link in the description below. Also, Please support my channel by commenting on this video, liking it, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out my GIMP text effects playlist that has over 20 more tutorials and projects on text effects. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.